So the next thing we're going to talk about is money supply, which is denoted as MS. And what you're going to see, so the same thing, we have M here, we have I here. Money supply is a straight line. So the question might be, why? That's because the money supply is determined by the government, or more accurately, money supply is determined by the central bank of a country. In Bangladesh, our central bank is called Bangladesh Bank. Each country has a central bank, and they decide the money supply. So money supply is fixed. Regardless of what's happening in the economy, it's fixed. Now, if the central bank decides to increase the money supply or decrease the money supply, they can do that. We will see how in a bit. But effectively, what's going to happen is that if central bank increase the money supply, this is what we were, are going to get. And if central bank decreases money supply, this is what we are going to get. So if we put these two together, so if we put money demand and money supply together, what we are going to have, so we have M here, we have I here. This is money demand and we have a money supply. We basically see as that that at this interest rate, this is the money demand, and this is our equilibrium. Uh, so let me just write this down. E is the equilibrium. Uh, what would happen if our let's say if our income increased? Well, what we have already seen is that the money demand curve would shift to the right. So when your, as your income goes up, what is going to happen is that at the same interest rate, money demand is going to increase. Uh, but the problem is that money supply is fixed so you may have a very high money demand, but money supply is not going to increase as a result. So effectively what's going to happen is that this excess demand for holding money is going to get rationed out and we're going to end up at this point at a higher rate of income. Similarly, let's look at another example. So once again, we have N, I, this is money demand, this is money supply. So since interest rate is going to fall, that means holding bonds is becoming less profitable for you. That is going to increase the money demand and we end up at this point. So we were here, now we have ended up here. So this is just basically demand and supply analysis that you should all be familiar with from your Eco 101 understanding. So, so far, everything we've covered is pretty basic. So now we move on to something new, something you all may not have seen already. 